Hello, hello, welcome, Libra. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know y'all be hating on me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to do two readings. I'm going to make up, okay? Um, This is for the rest of the month of... What are we in April? Um, some I have had a heck of a hard time doing your reading. So let's find out what's going on with you. And um, that Libra, that Libra full moon relationships, you know, having to make decisions about who's in your life and who's not cutting the grade is not the best. And this is probably why it's taking me so long to do your reading. I'm a Libra rising, so I don't like making choices like that. Like, I love you and I got to cut you because you ain't delivering what I'm delivering. Um, you ain't reciprocating. It, 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 you know, the, the relationships in every aspect of life, you know. Uh, so let's see what we have for you, Libra remaining for the to the um to the next half of the month and i will probably be getting mine up late so um i think this is gonna go for two weeks let me see if i can give you the, the uh, actual date Okay, I'm going to try to see. I'm just starting doing my batches of readings again. So let's see here. For the next two weeks would be till the 4th. Yeah. Saturday the 4th of May. And we're having actually the Taurus full moon on that. New moon on that. Okay. Let's go into it. I'm not going to do astrology. I just want to get into your reading. I've pulled the cards. I've meditated trying to figure out yeah oh yeah trying to figure out what's the dealio and i pulled an ascended master just to give us the ascension okay to give us the vibe of what is um happening with my libras move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here yeah this is why we have to cut ties we have to you know we can't take um stragglers and people who aren't cutting the grade along the ride this mega you know and i feel like it's a mega ride like cardinal sign ride okay and we have a lot of cardinal energy so it's a leadership vibe and sometimes leapers like to just you know when you do, when you lead you have to rub people the wrong way I've come to that conclusion <laughs> sometimes to get what you want you know you have to be that bull you have to be stubborn um so there's this walking away energy here in the middle of the reading okay libra you've made a choice you've just decided to walk away you probably did maybe decided to become single um and getting used to the single lifestyle I also can tell you, like, you know, Libras are very flirty and very um, sexy. They rule, they're, 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 Libras tend to be very beautiful people and, um, or attractive in some way. And so you might have been with somebody, but not really been been with them is what I'm saying. So you got to get used to this, like, you know, being on your own and valuing yourself on your own. Um, you're getting, you're going on this journey right now. You've had to cut some things off. You might be dealing with legal matters um, that are really uh, of, of, of high priority to you right now too. So, you know, to be clear-minded and to be of, of um, I see two divisions, you know, to be very clear-minded, you're cutting out all the fluff, all the things that don't serve you, uh, for your highest good. Choices. You've had to do this and you're now you have to put in the hard work. And if there's something that you love to do, but maybe this whole hang up here um, of not really truly being single, now walking away from what, what took away your self value Walking away from what took away, took your self-value 
you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it like this. See how good that looks for you guys. Okay, so with that being said, you're really having a hard time with choices. Okay, in the next couple of weeks, choices is not the best. I, I, like I said, we do not like making choices. We do not like being put in a corner, choose this or choose that. It's just not our forte we can see both sides of both sides of the story and it's just like i get it i understand you and i understand you and i feel you and i feel you so it's not the best energy like this is um we we we'll almost do anything not to make choices <laughs> let me tell you not to make those decisive choices but it's here and there's a message coming we'll, we'll find out about this message here it's not really giving us much information but it's about working on what you love to do and interacting with those that you love to interact with. Now, you've got your fellow Gemini season coming up, and I feel, I really feel this precipice of wonderful energy in Gemini season. We're in the year of three, and um, that is your brother-sister sign. So you communicate well with them, you get along with them, you are um, very likable, very politically, uh, influential, you know, very PC to get what you want. And it seems like it works for you. You do get what you want. Unfortunately, it looks like a situation here was, was beyond repair. You had to walk away from it. Um, and you might be taking legal action towards a person that has wronged you. Okay. Um, This might be the best opportunity for you to take legal action on a person who has wronged you, which you um, initially decided to walk away to say, no, I won't. Uh, I have a situation where that, that happened to someone where I, that, that that's dead and buried. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to do it. And then it, it resurrected and the opportunity presented itself to take legal action, fight for what really is your truth, your belief. Um, for some of Libras, like Libra moons, I'm getting like um, fighting for what you believe in, your belief systems, but they're they're being they're being rocked, they're being shaped. How you lived your life is being fundamentally pulled from underneath you, and this has to do. Sorry about the not pointing at the right uh, right place here but what this has to do with is your belief systems being restructured they were they were falsy belief systems they were um, passed down and they might have been just duplicated because this is how we do things this is uh, the way we do things this is how it's always been done I'm picking up with this energy and um, mom did it mom acts like that dad acts like that that's how they act. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you picked up their bad habits and now you're realizing, you know, making these decisions of separating emotion from logic and realizing that some of these beliefs are really rocking your world, really not conducive to where you want to ultimately go um, for yourself, your your workplace, your what you believe in, uh, who you are, your ascension, okay? So this has a lot to do with breaking down some belief patterns that have been holding you back. This could be um, self-esteem issues. Uh, so now you have the four of swords. This is, this is, this is me basically <laughs> not doing your reading <laughs> because um, contemplation time, thinking about things, having to release something that was not fun. Um, this has been long and drawn out. Like, you know, you've had to release this. A lot of Aquarius energy I'm picking up. You know, you've had to release it and you haven't. And I think you might have made some attempts here and there. It never really worked out. This is like, it's got to go. Like, this is really shutting that door. Okay. And we've been saying that for a long time because it seems like it's like this theme. But you're ready to hunker down, Libra. You're ready to hunker down, to do the work, to get into what you love to do. And get this, you're ready to connect with others again, which has been slow moving energy for 
all of us being so groggy, not really knowing who our tribe is because of the Pisces retrograde energy, just being confused within our own realm and what we need to do. Okay, so I told you I was going to find out about this message. And um, I want to see what this message is. You know, you, you're, you've made a tough decision here in, in the world moving forward. And somebody's coming here with a quick, swift message. I have this upside down. Let's shuffle it. Okay, so this could be somebody that you cut off, a romantic person. They could be an air sign or their moon could be an air sign. Uh, Knight of Swords. And they're waiting to befriend you. Um, this could be your ex. This could be your ex. And I think your ex misses the friendship. Like, you know, Libras are great friends because you got an issue, you come to them and they will find a solution because they will find the best solution because they have that ability to understand they won't find a solution i'm sorry that's not that's not libra but they will be an understanding empathetic year and without judgment okay a lot of, a lot of libra quality is, is in that so this could be a person that you didn't judge you were just a friend with it could have been a lover a friend um a lover and friend and you've made a choice on committing to this on committing to this friendship to this uh relationship Okay, but the choice is really to walk away and they might know it from the outside in or inside out, but, um, you know, this person I think might want to come and say, Hey, I'm, I'm committed to you. And if it's romantic, it, it, but you know, like this nowadays, it's not, ro it's not like people don't go to the altar anymore. You know, it could be, let's, let's title ourselves we're going out this is my girlfriend you know this is so it, it doesn't necessarily mean modern marriage there but some of you so there's a progression here okay let's back up you have no major arcanas which is really i love it because libra's having a hard time anyway with this playing this energy um there's a walking away energy okay so you, there's walking away from stuff that doesn't serve you um, I feel you're walking more into the arts and the creative field as well. And that's kind of being um, coming down for me like a, a download. And you're making a choice that, you know, things that don't serve you, your highest self, that they don't really resonate with you. You're making that choice. You're really you're really walking that truth. It's not easy. OK, it's 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 very uh, difficult energy for my Libras. You have to break down some belief structures and rebuild those with people who do believe in the same things that you believe in and, and are willing to work at it, okay? The thing about family is we don't get to pick them. We get to pick our friends, but we don't get to pick our family members. So um, just having a lot of discernment is here because you're ascending and you can't take crap that don't work for you anymore. It's happening for everybody, but Libra... Um, you guys have a very hard time making decisions. So that's why I feel like it's a little, it's a little bit, um, rocky for you guys. All right. So with this Ascension energy, it says, trust, trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So some of you are really at a fork regarding your career. Maybe what you were doing and put energy into is not... what you want to move forward in the future with. So you have to trust. And you see her eyes are closed. Oh, damn. No, she's this is the first one I've seen. She's like meditating. Her eyes are like a little bit open. Yeah. So you're very aware, very conscious of every move you're making. Okay? You're, you're very aware. You're going to have to um, have more financial discipline. A lot of Libra energy there, 
and something um, freedom maybe some of you just seek to have more freedom you're releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness I feel self-employment for some of you you don't want to be um, under the under the the guidance um, and then self-love you realize that love of the self is necessary to love another and this is you walking away from something that wasn't healthy that wasn't good for you and it and it, and it, and it ate up your self-esteem it, it was it was ripping away slowly at your self-esteem and Libra you have a lot to give and the thing is like um, like the, the like the, the energy of the dog who gives unconditional love even after they get beaten and starved and burned and whatever it's not because they're stupid it's because they come from a this love that is just they understand and they, they you know and that's I feel like that's you look at you this is a huge transformation worthy so let's say you're going inward like the butterfly and the caterpillar to come out beautiful a lot of red passion energy here your stone is sunstone empowerment I am empowered in all areas of my life so a lot of passion there's a project here there's something that you want to move forward with you want to free yourself okay you want to free yourself and where are the cards I use are these the ones did I mix them all up already Oh dear, did I miss them all? Up? I did. What, what a stupid. Okay, well, the freedom is the walking away. Okay, the Eight of Cups energy that you're walking away. And if I can find it. Oh, no, here they are. I'm not going to find them in the pile with everything. Okay, this is the freedom energy of you walking away, darlings. Okay, you're walking away. To find your self-worth and you got to connect with like-minded people okay this is value worth you're worthy valuing yourself empowerment right you're empowering yourself so you have to trust this process of um, of what's happening what's happening with you guys all right so let's go ahead and do some love, love, love for you. Love yourself first. Wow, this is coming up as a theme. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So it's that feeling of like the, the dog who gets beaten. So this person, like Libra, has gone through hell and back and still loves someone and this person doesn't love them the way I, you know what I get they don't see you they don't see you they don't see the real you and it's time to pull back bring back your energy and come back fierce and F them F everyone it doesn't matter it's all about you now Libra it's all about Libra time for you um, so that's why I feel like uh, Gemini season is gonna be really great and and right now with May May season it's about being out in nature caring for your body um, you know feeling getting that sexy vibe for yourself nurturing yourself so this this to me just says that you know somebody here it's coming that's better than the person that you had before better for you okay um wait they're worth waiting for so divine timing is at work in your love life this is for my Libras who are not with their partner and um, basically single or oh, just recently broke up with someone Okay, and so I'm gonna do love. I'm gonna do three of these and three of the past life. That's what I'm gonna do. So there's some uh 
things you're letting go with the past life. Let's see what's going on. Now just take what resonates and what doesn't, just leave it behind. Um, for those who are with partners, dealing with partners. Okay, so relationship, listening, time of going within. And so for some of you, you're in a very good relationship. You're listening to yourself and this person is very meaningful. Um, or this could be the relationship that's coming for, for y'all that hasn't arrived yet. You know, relationships coming. It's time to relax. Just listen. Just chill. Um, you will be somebody's heaven on earth or you'll meet somebody who is will be your heaven on earth but right now it's a time of retreat going inward ascending right nourishing yourself the farm nourishment uh, nourishing the relationships listening to your phobia phobias what's coming up for you like why are you afraid of relationships what's happening you got brokenhearted about somebody in the past and then now you look at others in the future that way you're gun shy so you're healing for those who don't have relationships you're healing right now and you're listening to what needs to be um healed it's going to take time help Okay, so this is the, the month of May that I'm saying that you're going to have to just, you know, dive into the, the physical realm, go be physical, go take care of yourself. Um, you might meet them at the gym, you might meet them in your gym clothes out and about. I know guys love girls in gym clothes, I don't know why, but, um, you know, they, uh, I think probably because they're very approachable and, and they look, you know, wow, this girl takes care of herself and they like that men love confidence. All right, so, and vice versa. All right, so let's see what the journey is. This is love. In this relationship, this is love. For those who are paired, okay? Um, if you're in separation, it still is love, believe it or not. Okay, so there has to be an agreement. Like, if you're in a relationship, listen to each other. You know, talk about what it is that are deal breakers and, and things, you know, because you don't want to be overreactive. This could be for the other partner, for the other person too. And health. Okay, so for me, this is really saying put your health first. This is priority. So if somebody invites you out, somebody wants to go out, oh, let's go, let's hang. You know, if you're doing your things about your health regimens, that needs to come first. And you will go to them as you're done. Okay. This also represents that this partner, if you're, for me, I'm picking up, if you're not in a relationship or you were in a relationship, this is more of the past energy for me. And it's saying that this person would only come around when they wanted you, okay? Not, and you, you weren't really, it was a one-way relationship, okay? And and maybe you that's a, a theme for some of the Libras out there, the one-way relationship theme where, you know, when they want something, you're there, but then when you want something, they're not there. So that's the balancing. And maybe this is part of the agreement here. Let's listen to each other, you know? I listen to all of what you're telling me when you're having a hard day. Can you, you know, just listen to me when I'm having a hard day? You know, that kind of um, communication of banter, of recognizing maybe this person needs more, uh, maybe your, your person needs to, you know, you need to train them on how to be more in, in, in a relation, interrelational, okay? So that's what I have. Now, um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the, for the week coming up. I hope this has been helpful and I will leave you for, with some angel oracle guidance. So let's just wrap it up for my Libras and just give them final angel oracle guidance.
intention. So you have to be very intentional. Pay attention to what people are really uh, about, their motives. Okay, so it's about forgiveness as well. Some may be getting uh, an I'm sorry, or you might have to give an I'm sorry to someone. Pay attention to the signs. I do want to get you more cards. I'm not crazy about those. Uh, I think I'm just going to do one of these angel oracles here that has um, Okay, Spirit, so give us the best card. Oh my God, this one popped out. You're going to freak out. Liberation. It's about liberation. Libra and liberation. Yes. OMG. This is amazing. Number 34. Oh. So you got to break, you know what? It's like you got to break the mold. You got to break the mold. This could be a very, um, a relationship that you're involved in that is very unconventional as well, I'm getting. Okay, my loves, this is your card. Look at this. This is amazing. Libra, if you have been feeling frustrated by the lack of action and stagnant energy in your, in your life right now, it may be time to reconsider your need for some of your material possessions. Sometimes we need to focus on accumulating more stuff in order to fill a void within or to avoid facing our true feelings. Decluttering your living space and spending le less time distracting yourself with material possessions can be incredibly, incredibly liberating and empower you to make important changes in your life for your own well-being. So it says, the affirmation is, I free myself from a dependence on the material objects in my life. I liberate myself and improve the flow of energy in my life by clearing my clutter. So something new, something fresh, something that you haven't really um, allowed in because you've been stuck in stagnant energy. Now you have to liberate yourself. Less is more. And you taking away what doesn't serve you will allow for more that does serve you to come in. So I just want to say thank you so much. And um, all my info is down below. I always have uh, specials. I have a, a love special. And um, I'm going to do your weekly. And I hope to connect with you guys soon. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your viewership. I really appreciate you guys. And again, apologies for the delay on your personal reading, on your um, general reading. So take care. God bless. Ciao.